Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. I'm Kyle Dittman here with Bullion RV in Duluth, Minnesota. And today I get the opportunity to show you around a newly arrived 2022 Thor Challenger, a 37FH uh, gas motorhome. So we're gonna walk around the outside, we'll get you inside. Let's see what you think. Just got to the lot, really sharp. I really like the black and gray colors with the white pinstripe, kind of keep an eye on that uh, with the body paint kind of color scheme. Um, I think it's really sharp. It's not as sunny as I like to hope for today, but there's no snow on the ground. It's kind of starting to move away, so we're going to take that as the win. So, like I said, today we're going to walk you through this one. Uh, my name again, Kyle Dittman, Bullion RV. Uh, we're going to get you started here. Um, right up front, we'll get you down by the wheels. Big Icolo rims, aluminum rims there, the big tires. Um, we'll start you up up here. You got your side cameras on the mirror. One big glass windshield. Just imagine going down the road, sitting up there, won't miss a beat. Right here you do have LED lights that are gonna run, which will look really nice. A lot of lights up front. We'll kind of bring it around the back side of it and then finish up in the front. Sit on the Ford V8 7.3 uh, liter. They call it the, the Godzilla engine. So it'll give you a lot of horsepower and torque. Frameless windows. You got uh, slide toppers on here as well. I really like, you can see all the storage doors open up sideways under the awning so you don't got to get up under there and hit your head. Your hydraulics, your batteries are right up front for you. And then this just has a ton of storage, pass through storage. Look at that big compartment in there. You see the light on the other side. Big 5500 uh, Owen generator on board. More pass through storage. Here's going to be your water bay. You got hot and cold water outside. The hookups. Water filtration system. Moving to the back. You got more pass through storage. Got your propane tank below that. Housing for the 50 amp power cord. And then in the back, you got your dump stations. Um, keep in mind, all this is Rotocast. So, um, no more, you know, what they got, um, no more metal or um, kind of carpeting to get dirty or rusty. The Rotocast molded, easy to clean, wipe up. Throw all your gear in there. It's awesome. I'm gonna kind of move your back. Give you a look at the back. You got a ladder on board. You got a one-piece fiberglass uh, back cap, which is gonna be great. Also, your fuel fill station. Little things like this being in the back, it's awesome. When you're filling up, you got your backup camera right up top up here. Just keep an eye on that when you're getting up to the end of the gas pumps. You just stop, you don't gotta play the guessing game on the side of the unit. It's right in the back for you. Small things like that, convenience is gonna be a big deal here. Uh, right here you have the hitch. You can tow 8,000 pounds, it's all set up. Or you have like a 500 pound hitch if you wanna just put a rack on there and bring maybe like a little scooter or bike or something like that. You got your low point drains right back here. Also in the back, you do have a quick connect for your propane if you wanna hook up a grill. So back you up again, like I said, keep an eye on that paint job. It's slick, really sharp. This is the front side of the camper. A couple awnings with the LED lights. I don't know if you can see those, but you get those on. A lot of good storage on this side as well. And again, like I said, you got that rotocast, which is great. I mean, you even got some 
plug-ins out here. So if you want to hook up some devices or plug anything in, you got that. Right down here is where you can kind of feed the wires for that out of the coach. So you don't got to keep this door open if you did have stuff plugged in. Outdoor TV. Does have a nice little sound bar down there as well. Don't want to miss a beat of the game or whatever you're watching. On and above the door. It's a great coach. So we'll get you inside now. Coming up in here, right in the cockpit, you do have the two chairs that do swivel. And right down there, you can kind of stick a table. So if you want to make that little breakfast bar, have your coffee, sweets, danishes, whatever you got going on. You do have a workstation as well. So if you're going down the road, you got a nice workstation with a table there. This is your privacy. It's on a push button. We got that put down right now for you. Overhead storage. We also got the bunk down a little bit. So you can see the overhead bunk sleeping up there. You do have two reclining chairs with seat buckles on there. And then as well with the dinette that's going to have buckles. And then you do have one uh, tie down strap if you had really young ones that are still in the car seat. You got storage under. Um, what I like about these reclining chairs, you sit right across from the TV in the fireplace. So don't strain your neck. That TV is on. An automatic button. We'll see. get over here. And kind of drop the TV down into its spot. I did shut the generator off for this video, so some of the lights are dimming a little bit, but um, kind of don't mind that. We'll keep moving. Nice kitchen space here, pull down faucet, big double stainless sink, induction cooktop, boils water super fast. If you are up in the mountains or anything, you might get a little less gas pressure, so the induction cooktop is really going to help you with that as well. It's awesome. You also have the convection microwave. So they drop the oven, give you a really big convection microwave, so it gives you a lot more storage, and then if you wanted to bake anything, you got this unit to do it here with, which is awesome. A lot of really good storage. Under the kitchen sink. There's a spot for the garbage can down there that comes with it. Nice pull-out drawers, give you a lot of space. And then again, here, instead of the oven, you get a lot of space there. Brig LG fridge freezer. This is a bath and a half unit. So right here is your half bath. If you have any guests, porcelain stools, nice cabinetry. Really nice space there. You got your one touch screen all right here. Otherwise you do have buttons all over the coach to um, turn lights on and do your thing. Cool thing is, is these do come off the wall. So if you were walking around by yourself, uh, put the awning out or you know turn lights on or anything, that's really neat to have that option as well. Um, TV, above that, another sound bar above the TV. This has the top soft, soft ceiling on it, just like your luxury uh, diesel motorhomes, but this is gas. Um, and you're getting all the luxuries of a diesel in this gas motor home, which is awesome. You do have the tilt of bed I have it up right now to kind of show you all the space that you get in the bedroom down here. Um, when that bed is up, uh, drop it down at night. You know, the button is just above your head. So if you were just sitting here reading, ready to hit the hay, just hit that button. Bed will drop down. Awesome. Uh, USBs, little countertops on each side of the bed for you. AC back here in the bedroom. It's prepped for washer dryer back here. And then you just have a ton of storage. Wardrobe storage here. More wardrobe storage in here. Kind of back up. It's kind of getting a little dim. Let's see if we can't. Get 
get the generator going. All right. Well, we're gonna bring it in the cockpit and turn this on and get some juice going again. I don't know if you can hear that, but it's not too bad. Like I said, the V8 7.3 liter engine on here. Kind of fire that up. It's not too loud. I'm gonna try to get some lights back on in here for you. Get the lights going here again. All right, back into the bedroom. Again, I got a, a TV back here with a tilt view, so you got a nice little spot if you want to put maybe a safe up there or kind of just some hidden stuff. Make sure that um, it's secured down in there. Nice little makeup area right here if you'd like. And then a lot of storage drawers for clothes and such. And then as well, there are some storage under the bed. Some really nice drawers under the bed. There we go. Lights popped on so now you can see this nice bright unit here. We'll open these doors again for you. That back there is a table for that you know, between the chairs up front. You do have the ladder back here that's secured for um, to get up into the bunk. Let's open these up again here. Really nice storage in here as well. And then you got your kitchen pantry. All the overhead storage above the bed. Moving back into the bathroom. Really nice counter space back here. Again, your lights, your water pump. Nice cabinets in here. Uh, you got slow rise for the windows. In the bathroom, you just have the um, dark out shade. Throughout the rest of the unit, you have day and night shades, which is really nice. You do have vents with vent covers that are gonna be, you got one up in the bathroom here. You do get the skylight for some of your taller folks that are gonna be in the bathroom. Otherwise, you got a really nice, good sized shower in there as well. Show you the living space here again. Just a great living space. You can see. Oh. So just a great coach. It's here at Bullion RV in Duluth, Minnesota. Again, my name is Kyle Dittman. I'm happy to answer any questions that you may have on this coach, any other coach we have, any other trailer for that matter. Again, my number is gonna be 218-740-4964. You can shoot me a text, shoot me a call, day or night. Uh, I'm here to help, go to bat for you, answer any questions you might have. Uh, we are just about a mile away from the airport, so this is the unit that you're looking at. If you want to fly in, we'll come pick you up. We'll bring you over here. We'll get you in. We'll get you the orientation. We're going to fill your gas tank. We're going to fill your propane tank. Uh, we're going to hit you. You're going to be able to hit the road right from here. So, again, like I said, my name is Kyle Dittman. Happy to help here at Bullion RV. Like, subscribe. We we'll put these videos out as soon as we get them, um, and just happy to do what we can. Look forward to working with you guys. Give me a call. Happy camping.